It works. You see people coming back. You know, love because you know. You don't have to. You don't have to. You don't have to say anything. You just say, "Oh, it's great to see you." Because we know what the devil does and how the devil works. Yes. Now it says, "Since we're living by the Spirit, let us follow the Spirit's leading." In some of my life, like while I'm home, but once I get in my car, all bets are off. No. <laughs> and once I get to work, all bets are off. It's me. I'm. I'm. It's me. No, it says in every part of our lives. In order for that to happen, you have to let this, all these words, get into your thought process instead of the world system into your thought process. I, that guy that's going three miles an hour, and I need to get somewhere, God put him there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been praying for him to get out of the way. Mm -hmm. As soon as he gets out of the way, the school bus is in front of him. <laughs> get it? Yeah. And then as soon as the school bus gets out of the way, you look in your rearview mirror, and there's a cop behind you. So you can't go any faster. <laughs> And then there's a red light, and then there's a green light, nobody's moving. <laughs> and then there's the train, right, exactly. So, it's God, see, you, you might think, oh, that's got nothing to do with God. Yes, it does. Amen. Because if you read your Bible, he sent people to certain places to meet certain people, to perform different things, and that's how he, that's how he fulfilled his purposes in their life. Go down the straight street. Go tell him. Go do this. You go here. Remember, he went and he meet somebody. Cornelius. He set up situations and circumstances in our lives. He works through our lives. He said, where's God in that? God is everywhere. When you know the Word of God and have this circulating in your mind, before you start getting nasty and mean, you can say, God is in this. Mm -hmm. yep. What would you have me do, Father, in this circumstance? So that's supposed to show us that we have a lot of growing up to do, right? Amen. That's why we come and study the Bible. Amen. Amen. Amen? So, there's a lot of pain in living. So, doubt is an experience common to all people. Remember Thomas? He said, until I stick my hands. Now, think about that. In the wound. Not even see him. He saw him. He said, until I actually stick my hand in that, imagine no. sticking your hand in there. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's how doubtful, and Jesus was right there, okay? And how can we expect not to be doubtful when we can't see him? Okay. That's right. Exactly. Amen. But we know he's real. We know he's there. Because yeah. it's just something in you that tells you you know. You know the truth, and this is what sets me free right here. This sets me free to be who God created me to be. What? Somebody didn't call me back. Somebody didn't show up. Somebody didn't do what they said they were going to do for me. What do I say? I forgive them. Amen. Guess what? How do you how do you overcome evil? Go to Romans 12. And close here. Listen, you guys want to know Jesus or don't you? You want to know his principles or don't you? Mm. Well, let's learn some. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay. We're going to look at verse 9. I love this. Romans chapter 12. Look at verse 9. Don't just, don't just pretend to love others. Listening? Pay attention. Because we know how the devil works. Start to lose concentration. Don't let me lose you here. <coughs> don't just pretend to love others. Really love them. Hate what is wrong. Hold tightly what is good. Love each other with genuine affection. And take delight in honoring each other. Never be lazy, but work hard and serve the Lord enthusiastically. Oh, I gotta go to Bible study tonight. <laughs> oh. 
to be honest with you, after all I went through, I couldn't wait to be here because I know it was the only thing I'm going to get from all that. Amen. As soon as I go back out there, it's on again. Yep. Amen. Rejoice in our confident hope. Be patient in trouble and keep on praying. Now, are you patient in trouble? And do you keep on no. praying? When you're in trouble, the Bible tells us to be patient. And it tells us to keep on praying. When somebody's hammering you and attacking you, you still pray. Mm -hmm. Now, either you're going to follow these principles or you're going to follow your flesh. Mm -hmm. It tells you to pray. So, somebody's coming at you, I pray for that. Yeah. Something happened. I don't know what happened in their life to cause them to attack me like that. But somewhere down the line, something happened to them. I have to understand that's where it's coming from. Mm -hmm. It's from a root. Amen. And have to forgive them. Because they can only do what they've been taught or what Amen. they've seen or what happened to them. Look, when God's people are in need, be ready to help them. Always be eager to practice hospitality. Now here it goes right here. Bless those who persecute you. Now it's hard to... You know when you tell somebody they sneeze, God bless you? They didn't say bless you, right? Well, we can bless by the devil can bless you too, by the way. You know that, right? Yes. One thing about Satan, he blesses materially. Yes. He likes that because it takes you away from God. Oh, look how good we're doing. Look at our money. Look at all the money we have. What do we need to what do we need God for? What do we need to go to church for? Look, we're all doing well. And the devil's like, you can't, you can't love God and love money. That's right. That's right. Because money will take you away from God. Mm. What do I need God for? I got all the money I need. Everything's taken care of. Now look what it says. Bless those who persecute you. Don't curse them. Pray that God will bless. What is it? Why does he say don't curse them? How Paul know? What is the first human reaction for somebody who's persecuting you or attacking you? To curse them. Yeah. It says, pray that God will bless them. Be happy with those who are happy and weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with each other. Harmony! There's people in the church, they pick at everybody, that I want this and I want that, and I don't like this and I don't like that. What kind of unity is that? <coughs> Judging the church. Judging the people in the church. Yeah. Saying, no, oh, there's nothing wrong with this. Look at the way they're acting. Instead of leaving it in God's hands, we need to judge. Yeah. And just enjoying where God's placed you. Yeah. Say, wow, I can enjoy the company. Look what it says. Live in harm Don't be too proud to enjoy the company of ordinary people. So many people think they're better than other people. So they can't enjoy the company of ordinary people. And don't think you know it all. Boy, I'm... How does the Bible know that we're so... We all think we know it all. Like, my way is the right way, of thinking. It says, don't think you know it all. Never pay back evil with more evil. Do things in such a way that everyone can see you are honorable. Do all you can to live in peace with everyone. Are you, are you living in peace with everyone? Are you accepting all the people in your life that you might not like what they're doing? Are you accepting them and letting God work in their lives? Or are you trying to correct them? Or are you playing God in their lives? You know what I'm talking about. Do all you can to live. You know how you live in peace with everybody? <laughs> the hardest thing for people to do is to keep their mouth shut. <laughs> My mother told me a long time ago, if you ain't nothing got anything good to say about anybody, don't, don't you say anything. nothing. No. <laughs> and that's the biggest thing. This mouth, if we can't control what comes out of here, we can't control nothing else in our bodies. Because the Bible says if you can tame the tongue, you can, get, you can tame everything else in your body. People don't go after control of that. Once you get control of this, you can get control of all the other appetite in your life. Oh, we're going to do a study on James. Don't worry, it's coming. <laughs> Look, never pay, dear friends, never take revenge. Leave that to the righteous anger of God. For the scriptures say, I will take revenge. I will pay them back, says the Lord. Instead of that, if your enemies are hungry, feed them. 
Ooh, imagine somebody you really don't like. Hey, why don't you come over and have something to eat? Buy him a sandwich. Ah, try it. If they're thirsty, give them something to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals of shame on their head. Now, here, who wants to conquer evil in their life? Do you? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm going to show you how. God's going to show you how to conquer evil. <coughs> you want to highlight it? Don't let evil conquer you, but conquer evil by what? Good. Doing good. Doing good. You fight the devil by doing good. That slaps him in the face. When somebody's wrong to, doing wrong to you and you're doing right to them, it slaps the Amen. devil in his face. That's, right. That's what maturity is all about in Christianity. It's not about how much the Bible you know. It's about how much the Bible you have. Amen. And how much the Bible you use Amen. in your life. Remember he told Ezekiel, Ezekiel. to eat them. Remember the king that didn't want to live God's way, what he did? He ripped out the pages he didn't like and burnt them. <laughs> These were people, oh, I don't want to read that. That's, nope, I'm not reading that. Nope, nope. I'm going to skip over to this one. I don't want to get hit between the eyes with something wrong with me. The Bible is corrective and comforting yeah. and loving. Mm -hmm. And don't you just love Jesus because he is Amen. doing something in your life to change you? Amen. He's Look, the world, because you come to God, don't change. God comes to change you. Yeah. Are you changing from the Word of God? Are you trying to change others with the Word of God? Amen? Yeah. All right, we're going to stop there. Thank you for what you shared. God is good. Yeah. Don't yeah. Don't yeah. Be God is working in your life. Trust me, He is. And He's not going to stop working the Bible says, until you go home and be with Him. Brittany's going to come up and sing and we're going to close. <laughs>